D or loop D uh, site number 195 we had to thread the needle it took us over an hour to figure out how to get our slide out and our awning as, as you see we are right on the edge so it is a tight fit there is a tree in the back that we had to avoid and of course this tree over here that we had to avoid loop D site 195 Recyclables and a beautiful gift shop. spray hopefully they have deodorant because guess who forgot hers yeah that'll be me oh all kinds of games very nice
Lukey's wearing a pink harness. He and David are very upset about it. David's happy for him. <laughs> Does it have a dial tone? No. No. <laughs> okay. This is called the village. And somewhere here is a general store. I think we just found it. Don't get down to it. There's the outfitters. Yeah. Oh, there's a laundry. Look at the laundromat. How cool is that? There are the outfitters. How cute. Those are so cute. I like that shirt, Happy Camper. Yeah, I like those. Cute. Little mining station. Very cute. So this is the general store. Gotta get out my walking stick when we go to the falls. Yeah. Paper plate supplies. Aw, cute. Little retro travel lights. Sleeping bags, shovel, axes. They have pretty much everything you might need. Blankets, lighter fluid. Grill supplies. Dog supplies. <laughs> lot of machines awesome. yeah so it's like it's a dollar a load and a buck those are dryers so a dollar to dry and a buck fifty to wash Wonderful place to have picnics. Look at the size of this pool. 
closed now for the summer, for the season. Nice little green hot tub and the lake out in the back. This place is a must do. They have cabins if you're not into camping. This place is gorgeous. Cute little snack bar. What do you think the park so far from what you've seen? We've only been here five hours. Is that all? Is that long, I mean? Not, not, probably not even that long. Well, I mean, other than the sight dance kind of tight, uh, we walked up and they have a thing here called the Village. It's a bunch of little shops. They've got an outfitter shop, a general store. Uh, it's nice. It's really nice. I like it. But tomorrow we're going to go see the falls. We're going to do some hiking yeah. and we're going to enjoy ourselves. And we will capture that on video. We're going to try. See you guys then. Bye. Bye. One thing that's really nice about the sites here is every site has a trash can with a bag. So you don't have to worry about taking your trash at the end of your trip.
friends, I'm Tracy. I'm David. And welcome to Trixie's Travels. Today we are coming to you from... Fall Creek Falls State Park in Spencer, Tennessee. It is October 2021 and as you can see the leaves are changing. It has been absolutely stunning around here. We wanted to come to you and share with you our experiences here at Fall Creek Falls State Park um, and let you know what we thought about the place. It has five campgrounds, A through E. We're staying in Campground D. Uh, we are in D195 and we have full hookups including sewage uh, and we're paying $38 a night and we feel it was well worth it because of the amenities and all the things to do around this beautiful park. Um, however, we did have a little bit of a struggle yeah, getting mean, into our spot. I have a 26 foot rig and uh, the width of it's only like 10 feet between the two trees on opposing sides, it was really difficult to get it lined up to where we could have the awning and the slide out. So it's by road on the backside. Uh, so 10 o'clock it gets quiet, but during, during the day, it can be loud with the motorcycles and everything else flying through. Uh, and while we're talking about, you know, sights to see, we went to several falls, uh, Cane Creek Falls, uh, is it Pelham Creek or? Piney. Piney yeah. Falls, Piney yeah. Creek Falls, Piney Creek Falls, and, Fall Creek Falls. And Fall Creek Falls was the, you know, was the most impressive one. Uh, the trail down to it, strenuous. Uh, it was funny because when we were walking down, there was a child. He's probably about six, seven years old, walking with his dad. He had a little, little walking stick. He goes, "Oh my gosh, that was just the most, most horrible walk." And we just laughed. Well, the kid was right. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Going down, coming up, you know, it was definitely a four. I'll be proven pill hike. <laughs> yes. yeah, so. We are going to be doing a hiking video in the next video, so be on the lookout for that one. Um, but we'll show you the beautifulness of these falls um, and the gorgeous leaf changing in the weather here yeah. um, in Tennessee. We're quite fortunate because the weather that preceded us for two weeks was, was constant rain, which led to this beautiful, stunning falls. Massive I mean, amounts of local water. Local people said a couple of weeks before that you can go down to the to the basin of Fall Creek Falls and you can stand there and not get hit by water. Well, <laughs> you're getting pushed back. Uh, this guy got his hat blown off. His shirt was ruffling in the wind. It was probably a 30 mile an hour wind coming off the bottom of that thing, but it was gorgeous. It was. Uh, so, so speaking uh, of amenities here, you can do horseback riding, you can do zip lining, you can do a treetop um, tree adventure. Uh, golfing is here, hiking of course, uh, bike riding, you can put your kayaks in the lake. Um, it is absolutely something for everyone. Um, beautiful spot. As David said, there are five campgrounds and we found that Campground C seemed to be the one that had no asphalt, was for the smaller rigs, the tents, um, and then everything else did have some um, gravel. Uh, lots, um, some full hookups. So when you do book here at Fall Creek Falls, please make sure you pay attention to what your needs are. We found that Campground B seemed to have the largest of the spots um, for the larger rigs and a little bit more elbow room. Um, and you saw that in the video as we ran through just a few of, uh, we ran through all five campgrounds, but showed you a few of the sites in each. Um, absolutely gorgeous. The state park restrooms are typical state park restrooms, but we found that in the men's restroom, it had one stall, one urinal, and a couple of showers. And in the women's restroom, it has two stalls, two showers. Um, so just the basic state restrooms. Um, they're clean. They're so, clean. They're clean. Um, oh, I think we booked this campground uh, close to a year ago. Um, so oh, one of the amenities is a place called The Village. And the village is fantastic. It has a outfitter store for our, our basically all your hiking needs. It has a general store, uh, which has pretty much all your basic needs. Um, let me see what else. Is, they have a, a treetop adventure here. They have a laundromat. Uh, have a laundromat. Um, uh, they have a pool bar. They got a pool. It's a full size Olympic pool. Um, pool with a hot tub. With a hot tub. Um, it is closed for the season. Um, beautiful pool, huge. Um, so I'm sure it'll be ready next year if you get to come out during the summertime. Uh, all the washer and dryers appear to be working. Yeah. Reasonable um, price, it's like a dollar to, to, to wash, but 50 to, to dry, or it might right. be the other way around. Yeah, it might be. Um, but the pool bar looks really cool. We haven't mm -hmm. indulged, uh, but you know, they have a nice selection of local ales and you know, it, it, it's bar food, hamburgers and uh, chicken sandwiches, salads, stuff like that. But it, Lots uh, of picnic tables lots everywhere of picnic tables, on this place. Uh, lots of activities, a uh, little jungle gym for kids. 
Uh, so there's a lot to do here for you and your family. I mean, it's a great place to, to just come and just relax. That's uh, Lots some... of buddy sites. We noticed oh, yeah. that um, in our little uh, D campground at the end of our uh, section, there's a loop and it looked like most of those folks were all together um, having a great time. So lots of buddy sites, lots of uh, ways to bring people that don't have campers. They've got cab cabins here. Uh, of course, they've got spots for tents. Overall, we've had a wonderful time here at Fall Creek Falls State Parks. We encourage you to come up here and enjoy all that this park has to offer. It's absolutely stunning and we will be giving you a hiking video in the next video. We would love for you, if you're new here, to subscribe. We'd love for you to give us a thumbs up and we'd love for you to hit that notification button so that you can see anytime we post. As always, we thank you for joining us on this adventure and please come back. Come back. Remember this. Give us all of these. We like them. <laughs> Bye, so, friends. Bye, see y'all.